Hello guys, welcome back to another one of my tutorials, and today I'm going to show you guys how to merge Summer Warriors 1 with Summer Warriors Extreme Legends. Now there's going to be a few parts in here I need yeah, programs you need. For one, you're going to need Winmar, and you're going to need Image Burn. This method was done thanks to SNKR of the Dynasty Warriors Discord. So to start off, let's open Winmar. Well, I don't need it open since it's already tagged in my ISOs, but... Make sure you open ISO and win more. And then the first mistake you shouldn't do is people have tried to throw this one in there first before Extreme Legends. And it won't work right. It'll read it as an expanded just this with no extra files. So you want to do Extreme Legends first. Throw it in there. Give it a second or two to load. It'll take a while. I don't know if you heard my dog just snore right now. He's kind of a snorer. Okay. Once it transferred it, we close that. And then we're going to open the original version. Throw it in there as well. There's one more step we got to do before we're done with this. I'll show you guys right now. Give it a moment. The worst part is waiting, even though it's a minute. Once done, now the part I've been mistaken on is people told me to do this, which is wrong, and don't even do skip files either, because that's wrong too. You hit, let me decide for each file. And you want to click both of these, because what it's telling the ISO is to keep both of them in the game, as one read. And you'll notice, proof right here, it's all merged in, including this. As you see, there's a little 2, meaning it's reading a second version of that file, which is perfectly fine. Now... We're done, we can close ISO and win more. We're gonna go to Image Burn now. And once that's done, you you wanna click create file from folders and image folders and files. Click this symbol right here, the read folders. What are we looking for? You're looking for the Samurai Warriors Complete Edition. That's the one we just worked on. You wanna hit this saying build into an ISO. What do you wanna call it? We're gonna call it final uh, I don't know. I'll just say ISO of Summer Wars completed. So save. Um, you want to hit yes for this. Yes for that as well. Hit OK. Give it a moment to finish. And usually you'll save it in your documents or desktop. I think it went to my documents. I'll double check. Hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> uh, so, once that's done, we close this. Yeah, as you can see, it went to my documents. Let's go to my documents. And there's our ISO. Let's drag it out of here. Let's go to PCSX. Go to your games folder, and then you're going to drop your ISO in there. Now, once it's in here, we got to go to the emulator. we got to go back to the PCSX2 emulator itself. Run it. ISO selector, you're gonna pick the one we just finished. Yeah, here it is. You're gonna hit open, run fast, give it a second to load, and if we did it correctly, it should load at the screen. Yep, as right now, as you guys are seeing, oops, it's loading just fine. Now we just gotta. Oh god, it's loud. Um, let me turn this down. Holy cow, this is loud. This is loud, loud, loud. All right. So as you can see right here, it um, has it loaded. Now we're going to load our save data. Or don't. If you have a new file, just start the game. It doesn't matter about the save data. Give it a second to finish loading. Now what you want to do here is you want to go to fight. Scroll down to where it says import. And as I say, dead will be loaded for Star Wars. Proceed. You hit yes. Now, we have to open the this part again, drag it over here, you want to click on ISO selector, don't, not ISO selector, but go below it and you'll see no disk. Click no disk, hit swap, don't hit reset, if you hit reset you gotta do this whole process over again. So you want to do swap disk. You'll notice it says please insert Summer Warriors disk and close the tray. 
You swap back to ISO. Swap disk. Cancel procedure, no. There we go, it's loading the disk. Now, you want to do this again. Hit no. So you can think the game's thinking, yeah, the disk was removed. Hit back to ISO again. Swap. Give it a second. And there we go. As you clearly see, everything is now loaded into the PCXS emulator. As you can see, the extra challenge modes are here. Yeah, melee, mushu, combo, archery, deflect, burst, writing. We even have the new officer mode for those of you who loved it. I especially loved it. Yeah, you can basically, like, create 15 characters here, etc. And uh, let me show you the truth, like, oh, does it really work? Yeah. Survival mode now has high tower, as well as deep abyss. And there is also more versus levels than the ones given to Extreme Legends. See, we now have Showdown, Pursuit, and Strike. And last but not least, to prove I'm not wrong, all the stages are available. Yeah, as you can see here. You would still have to play the Mushu modes and unlock them, but there's everybody's stage, as you can see, even the new officer themselves. And you're wondering, oh, what about Mushu mode? Well, that's available too. See, everybody's here. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as you can clearly see, it's 100% works. So, feel free to su subscribe, comment. If you're having an issue with the ISO, I will gladly um, answer any questions. As I said again, this is for the US version, not the Japanese or European version. So, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your game. I'M THE GREATEST THERE